We're going to move to another time now that your higher self would like to show you. So we're going to close that scene and move to another time. We are there. Explain what you sense and see. Mm, I see a grey planet with rocks. It's not Earth. It's like a, a planet that has lost its light. The people are there. They don't look like humans, really. Have a look at down at yourself. Do you look like a human now? I don't. I look grey. Yeah? You're all grey, are you? Yeah. Who case the mirror in front of you? Explain your facial features to me, please. Uh, I have long face and its skin is it's more like like a rough leather skin, like a grey leather. I don't really have a visible nose. It's more of like like a kind of raised up and a long sharp structure. The structures are very sharp features and very sunken eyes, yellow eyes. I don't have hair. Okay. Are your eyes big eyes or small eyes? Uh, big eyes. Big eye sockets. Mm. Big, like sunken in eye sockets. But the eyes, balls themselves are not huge. Okay. And as you look at this planet, do you feel like this is your home planet? One of your home planets? I, I feel like I, I was born there. So you say that there's been, something's happened here. Yeah, the, the planet has been dry of its resources. It's been used up, just dark and gray and sad, and everybody's tired and lost hope. I'd like you to move Maybe. back now, move back to a time before this destruction. You can remember. Okay. Do you feel, do you see that now? Sense that? Yes, I see blue trees. They're not green, they're blue. Beautiful. I see how we would use oil. It was like black. It was almost like milk to us. We used it for energy with ourselves. We drink from the black fountains. It would make us fast. I feel as if I was meant to learn abundance and then not having abundance, feeling both. And I, I remember just sitting there like a, like a stone and I ended up becoming a stone. I was the last of my family. You were the last of your family? Yes. Could you morph into anything that you wanted then if you could turn into a, a, a stone, a rock? I see, I see that I could change. But just my, my, my color would change if I had my energy. What color are you when you have your energy? Become bluish colors, kind of blue and like almost a neon blue. And I could be fast. I could run fast. Do you get a sense of which dimension? star system this is in it's like a, almost like an avatar like pleiadian yes yeah do you get a, a number of dimension on the pleiades i just keep seeing seven yeah seventh dimension so are there many other beings around now you've moved back in time do you feel like happy, happy energy? A happy energy, yes, very playful. I feel like I lived a long time. And as you're there, does anything call your attention there? Do you feel, see any crystals? There is a cave of crystals. Beautiful. Do you like to go there? Oh, I love going there. I love looking at the crystals. You love to? Yes, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't take them home. 
I let them be. Do you connect to these crystals when you go into the caves? Yes, they light up. Mm. They glow. And my skin glows. I hear like music, like chimes. It's very peaceful there. I like how my skin looks. Do you communicate telepathically to others? I just I just know and I feel peace. I just hear the hear the chimes of the crystals. Sounds like a song. It's almost as though the sounds are their vibration. Mm, their yeah. consciousness. Yes. And so you can hear their consciousness, hear their vibration. Yeah. Do you think that we have a vibration and a sound too, like a soul song? Yeah, very peaceful, like wind chimes. We'll take the energy in from those crystals into your body. Absorb that beautiful energy, the healing energy, and absorb it. And once you are ready, we are going to move to another time that your higher self would like to show you just before something happens where it changes, start to change if there's a destruction or if you did it to yourselves in the star system, you are going to move to this time now that your higher self would like to show you what oh, happens. The reptilian. Okay. They, they stole our crystals. They use all of our fuel. They were supposed to be our friends. We, we let them be there with us. Have they been infringed somehow? They came and we let them stay. They were our friends. They lied to us. Wow, they deceived you. Yes. They were there just to take. And they knew they would destroy us. Can you see the reptilians in front of you now? Yes. Connect to them telepathically. Did someone tell them to do this to your planet? Yes. Their yeah. leader. They needed our resources. They only cared about themselves. Mm. They had to. There's one main leader. Have a look at the eyes. Of the leader. Is there any soul there to this leader? I can't tell. It's just dark controls them all. Nope. He is he's program. My Archon? He, he's he's not a real person. He doesn't have a soul. No. No. And he's been manipulating them, controlling them to do this. Yes. And with the removal of this energy and these crystals, is this what hap is this why the planet becomes bare? There's nothing there. Yeah. It's like they take the life force from it. Yes, yes. They they take they take the light out of the planet. And so what happens to you? Do they take you or do you stay on the planet? I stay there. I stay there and then I just fade away and die. I become, we are the, we are, we make up the gray stones on the planet. We are frozen there forever. Our bodies become just rock. Mm. Have you moved to that time now? Have you moved to that time where you are the gray stone? Yes. And as you are there, that gray stone, is this the now time that you are seeing? Yeah, I was shown this before. Do you feel as though you and your families, this, this whole collective energy is still within this planet? Yes, it's sadness. Oh, it's so lonely. Okay, what I'd like to do is we can aid this planet in the now time. It's time to aid this planet. And you are the last of your kind. What we're going to do is we're going to call in a team of light to aid us do you think that that would that would be okay yes you do. 
I have so many crystals to give them. You have so many crystals within you? Yes. Within the planet? I'm going to plant them. What we're going to do is we're going to call in the archangels and tell me when they get there. Okay? Are you energy now looking at this planet? Yes. So we're going to call forth Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Heliel, Archangel Draphael, the Legion of Light, the Benevolent Fire Dragons. And tell me when you see them approaching. Oh, they're there. <laughs> We're going to call in the Divine Mother as well, the Daughter of the Flame Energy. Mm. Do you see them? I see them all. Beautiful. Okay. It's time to release this blanket of negative sadness energy that's kept these beings trapped there now. So we're all going to collectively stand around this planet and we're going to start lifting this energy. So we're going to start phoenix firing this whole planet now to lift this energy. Okay, so we're going to start phoenix firing and we're going to start lifting. Can you see that it's lifting? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Keep you are that connection to that planet to lift that energy. You are the key person there, the key energy. You imagine your energy lifting, lifting all the energy off. Yes, it was like a blanket of darkness. I see it lifting off. Keep describing what does it look like, this blanket of darkness. It's just grey and it's like a like a film, a force, like a a sheet of filmy mm. darkness. And like is it being plasma? Mm. Is it just being transmuted like it's just going or is it being lifted somewhere? It's, it's, I see it lifting up and then balling it up into a ball, trapping. There is a, a hexagonal box that's being put in there. So it's been placed into the box now? Yes. And what we're going to now do is we're going to fill the planet with lots of love. So we're all going to stand around, sending lots of love to awaken those crystals within mm. and to release any trapped soul fragments to oh, return yeah. back with the higher self's permission to return back to where they belong in the being that they belong to. Yes, I see them. You see the soul orbs? I see them all, yes. How do they look? They're bright, bright purple light. I see them. They're returning to the rock. They're becoming crystals. <laughs> Purple. I hear them singing again. <laughs> I hear the chimes. They're thinking of, I feel it's done. Just that it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. You aided your planet back. It's abundance. I'm sure that um, there'll be lots of work to do on that planet. And I know yes. that the archangels will aid them. What we'll do is we'll ask the archangels to um, create a shield around this planet now of protection. Mm. We'll form the shield. I'm sure the crystals will form a shield now. Yes. They're safe now. They're safe now. Good. Excellent. Well, we'll say thank you to the team of light there. Thank you to the team of light for aiding that planet there. We love, honor, and respect you all. Thank you. Lots of gratitude. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now we're going to close that scene now and we're going to pull all of the consciousness fully integrating into the body. And we'd like to speak to the higher self, please. Yeah. Am I speaking? Hello. I love, honour and respect you. May I ask you a few questions? Yes. Beautiful. What beautiful energy. Let's start off with this planet then. Was this always something that Angel was going to do? This Was this part of her mission? Yes. 
and yours and mine as well yeah yeah is that why she was guided to me for this mission yeah <laughs> beautiful was this in the pleiades yeah in the seventh dimension yeah is there anything else that you'd like to share with us about this planet this planet is important this planet is important for energy for for several dimensions this planet sends off energy to others so will they be able to send off energy to other planets now yes they, they're going to help they're going to help the other shift do they help earth they help earth so they haven't been able to help earth while they've been in this energy no they have not oh. so this was a very important mission then yeah we earth will feel the effect mm -hmm. excellent we definitely need to feel the effects i know currently it's very heavy very heavy energy here I think Angel and I have both been feeling this heavy energy, higher self. Can you tell us anything about this heavy energy while we're talking about it? Yes. The energy you're feeling is from the reptilians on the earth. The reptilians are, came to your earth and is betraying you and using your resources. They're working with the government. They're tricking the government and so many people are waking up to this we will send you energy from that planet thank you yes we feel this um this t almost they're trying to take over um yes earth. that is their mission hmm. and are these reptilians led by by these soulless ones the reptilian is listening to the main leaders that are not, they do not have a soul. No, no. They're programming the reptilians, controlling them. So these, um, some of these leaders, are some of these leaders reptilian oversouls then? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. And then some leaders are soulless correct and i just wondered if you could answer um, a question if you mind just about a certain leader that has started this war yeah is he um arconic or a reptilian oversoul or is he of the light he is he is a reptilian oversoul okay so he is being controlled by the Archon forces. Yeah, I feel that they're controlling every leader mm. in this world, part of bringing forth destruction, greed. Do you see the higher self um, in future timelines that these leaders um, can no longer lead anymore because people wake up and realize yes this will not go on no they will run i see 2024 huge shift i see running leaving this is reptilians is what brought to control to scare to distract. Is this war a distraction as well? Is this like a phase two of their project? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, they want us to feel hopeless and want us to feel like we have to depend on our government because we are getting so close to take him back over. It's like their last attempt. Mm. And this is why we see this destruction. I feel as though there is a lot more destruction to come. 
Yeah. But with this destruction brings awakening of many. It's rebirth. Mm -hmm. yes. There will be a couple years of destruction left. And then I see just a burst of light enclosing the whole planet. Wow. This is going on on several planets lined up. It's all happening together. It's is like a all, circle. All, all the like all the third dimension planets within the galaxy. Is that where it's all happening? It's it's happening throughout the whole galaxy. Yes. Yeah. It's like a circle, all connected. And does what happens on one planet affect the others? Yes. It they will pop like popcorn. One. After the other, after the other, after the other. It's a chain of events. Like a chain reaction, just when everything comes in divine time into the plan, does it all just fall into place and they all like pop? Yes. Thank you. So was their main mission? The main mission to control the mind. Yeah. To yes. give fear. It gave fear no matter what. It started war amongst themselves, war amongst each other, chaos against each other, all the humans on earth. Mm. It, it's a distraction keeping us at a low vibration thank you and i'm gonna ask a few more questions in the body scan